The first background in line is bookworm. Good on everyone. Every class can take bookworm. Beginners should take bookworm. I personally will never take it. There are far better backgrounds. Desert Cat, great to have on a character that's supposed to discover loot, traps, and similar things. Characters that have high awareness should go with that background. High awareness gives perception. You also put some trinkets for perception and you can't miss a bloody thing. Now, who goes with awareness? Basically, every character that shoots. It doesn't matter if it's assault rifles, small guns, shotguns, handguns, heavy weapons, snipers. It fits snipers definitely the best. Disciple of Metal, fire damage bonus. Great on specific classes. Great on classes that plan to boost luck. Great on classes who will use big guns, heavy weapons. And of course, weird science should be maxed out if you want to play with a Disciple of Metal. Explodomaniac. Also very similar to Disciple of Metal. Great on specific classes. Classes that will use big guns, that's gonna max out explosives, and weird science. Goat Killer. Great on every class. Not much to say about it. It's a good starting option for absolutely everyone. Snipers, again, will profit definitely the most out of this. Have one thing in mind. Characters that have sneaky shit will also profit a lot out of this. Grease Monkey. Bonus damage to robots and vehicles. Avoid it like plague. If it was like 30%, then I guess it would be fine. But even then I would avoid this. It's garbage. Plain and simple. Little weapon. Maybe on easier difficulties. On Supreme Jerk this won't work. Most of the enemies will use cover. They'll shoot from afar. You'll get one shotted. Even with 10 strength. Best armor. Trinkets with 100% crit resist. You can still get wrecked. Melee is maybe fun for easier difficulties. Not for Supreme Jerk. Good if you want to play with melee on easier difficulties. Menaret. Kiss ass. No. Bloody no. Don't even think about it. You'll have trinkets for kiss ass. You'll have many, many, many levels to boost kiss ass. Just skip. Money bags, barter, same applies as applied for kiss ass. Barter is very important in the game once you're level 10 and above. But no, it's not a good starting option for sure. Avoid it like plague again. Muppy Poet. Evasion 5%. No. Just no. It's garbage. Paladin. Crit resist 10%. It's huge garbage. As I already said, you'll have trinkets that give you 100% crit resist. And that means you receive zero damage from crits. I repeat, zero. Why would you take crit resist at the start? They should erase Paladin. Raider Hater, bonus damage to humans. You're gonna fight everything in Wasteland. Yeah, you'll fight humans a lot, but you'll fight synths, you'll fight robots, you'll fight monsters. Just no, definitely not skip. Sex Machine, Combat Speed. If you know how to position well, no matter the difficulty, Combat Speed is practically useless. So, Sex Machine is also useless, unfortunately. Stoner, status effect resist 10%. Again, as I said for Paladin, I'm saying the same for Stoner. Completely useless, avoided like plague. The boss, hard ass, sounds good, but it sucks in reality. Avoid it. Vicious Avenger, penetration plus two. For me personally, this is probably the best background that you can take in the game for every class there is, especially if you're gonna play on a Supreme Jerk. Penetration penetrates armor, enemies have a lot of armor, this is your solution. Your weapon have a lot of penetration, your background has penetration, you got trinkets for penetration, and with a few points in luck, you'll penetrate everything there is. Jokes aside, penetration is the best thing to take as a background.